So, so tell me about the relationship that Maximus and, and Black Bolt have on this show, which is obviously going to be adversarial and at the core of what you guys are, are doing. Yeah, well, I guess, you know, they're, they're brothers and, they, and, you know, they have a lot of love for each other. Um, but we, when the story starts, we reach a point where uh, they both sort of have very differing opinions on how to move forward. Um, and uh, Maximus is very frustrated with the way that Black Bolt seems to want to do nothing. And he thinks very strongly that they need to do something. Um, so, yeah, that's where you get this conflict between the two brothers. So, you play an awesome character, Medusa, kick-ass hero, Thank with, you. like, the most awesome power set ever. See, and that's what's so funny is, like, when I first got them, I was, like, reading everybody else's power, and I'm like, oh, my God, atomic voice, and, like, controlling the elements, and then I was like, magical hair? What do you mean, magical hair? And then I literally went online and went, oh, my God, magical hair. Well, the first day on set, uh, Jeff and the team, they had this amazing gift. It's like this Marvel encyclopedia of all the characters. It's this book, this thick. And I thought it was so amazing that my character was even in there and I get to play somebody in the Marvel Universe. And I play the youngest member of the royal family, Crystal. Um, I control the elements, so that was added a dip different depth, which I haven't dealt with before in a character where, you know, figuring out how my powers make me feel and affects my life and things like that. This guy was a lot of fun to play. Um, he's a guy that acts completely off of impulse. Um, and then that actually kind of lived right in me as well, just acting off impulse as well, you know. He, he's a very physical guy, and you know, being that physical is a lot of fun, and um, especially just his strength in regards to anything that he does, you know, the seismic wave, the hooves, and all of that. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We're loosely based on the comics, so there is that lore and there is that in our DNA, but we're trying to create something that is our own. Beast. I've never done a role where there are so many things that you have to account for in your imagination that have not been built yet that are going to be made in post. You kind of have to just get on with it and imagine there's a giant dog in the room, you know, and try not to walk through it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just like a lot of shows these days, there's so much of it. You just, there's a, a certain degree of imagination that you need to bring with you. I call it pretend acting. <laughs> well, see, Awan doesn't drive. So he bummed a lot of rides off of me. So we got a chance to know each other really well. So by the time we had to get really in each other's faces, there was a lot of trust there, I think. I don't know, you can ask him. He might have a different answer, but we had a, we had a lot of fun. You and him kind of developed a rapport because you don't drive and you were bumming rides off him. So on those drives, that's where you guys connected. You either? You don't drive either? No, I drive. I was bumming you just wanted a free ride. Yeah, yeah and then because I'm Australian, one of the first times he gets in the car, I turn onto the opposite side of the road. Yeah. And I was like... Ha, ha, ha.